Welcome to Magic Smart Homes. Today we are going to cover the three-in-one solar camera, which is called the SuperCam Solar from Magic Smart Homes. So the unique thing about this camera is that it has three views. So a single camera you can install it in a field or a farmhouse and cover everything. In this video, our target is to show you the video quality of the camera, the features of the app, and also we'll cover this road. I've created a small setup where I'll cover this entire road and show you live how does the entire camera works. All in this video. So let's jump into the video. So before we start this camera, some basic steps. So it's a 4G camera, so you have to insert a SIM. The SIM will be inserted in this flap. And then I'll also, I have a panel here installed. The Type-C cable from this will go into the battery behind and I have to switch on the camera. So I'll do all these steps. So first let me insert the SIM. I'll insert the SIM first. So I'll hold the SIM like this. And it is very important that you figure out, like there are two slots. So one of them is SIM. So clearly identify which one is SIM with the smaller one. And I'll then put my SIM card inside the slot and wait for a clicking sound. Like this. This is the Type-C cable from the solar panel. I'll put it inside the battery cage. There is a specific slot for this. And then switch on the button besides this. So we'll quickly show you the other features of this camera. So one, it is PTZ. So when you're seeing the three views, one of the views is actually PTZ. So you can actually rotate the camera. So this view can be rotated like this and you can uh, rotate it to 300 degrees and you can see the, you can actually configure it very differently from the static cameras. And then there is preset PTZ, which I'll explain you. This is for auto surveillance. So you want it, your PTZ camera to rotate automatically, then you use this setting. And then we go to the other setting where there are two prominent settings. One is the alarm setting. So this camera has PIR human detection. So what happens is in when during night time, for example, you want that uh, rather than triggering the alarm on detecting anything like an animal or any, anything else, you want human detection only. Then you can do that. You just switch on the alarm. There is a human detection. And if you go to features of this, you can set the sound of the alarm. So basically you can customize the sound. You can put your own voice here. And you can also on switch on the beacon. So what happens is when whenever it triggers, there is, apart from the sound, there is a lightning also at the camera. You can configure the period. So basically what time do you want the alarm to be on and the area. So area is basically what all area do you want to cover in that alarm. So I'll just briefly show you. This is how you set the area of the alarm. So basically square is wherever you want. So I want this area to be monitored. I just select this square and I'm set. The other good feature is that recording settings. So you can, uh, if you put a SD card, you can put all recording settings here, whether you want to record on AI, human detection, continuous recording and all that. We have covered it on our channel. So other videos cover all that. We also have, you know, you can set the sensitivity of the PIR and the advanced settings. Basically, uh, there are not many, like this camera is not on with compliant. Remember that. So on with is not there but otherwise fully feature rich in ptz speed settings and presets you can configure auto surveillance also so this was all about features if you look at the video screen so there are three views two for static cameras one for ptz like i showed you and you can maximize the screen and apart from maximizing you can also speak so we just click on the speaking and you see you can speak and the camera will say things. You can also configure alarm, lighting control, inversion, image setting, motion tracking. So this is important. Motion tracking means it can detect like the camera will chase motion. So if, if it sees anybody moving, it will just try to follow them. So I'll just enlarge the screen so that you can see how, how will it look and what are the options available. So there is you can take photograph through this a snapshot on your mobile if you do not have a SD card. And you can also do recording like this, right? Video recording. And obviously you can speak. So this was all about the features available in the app. And I'll just show you something that in the app, you can obviously like set up groups. You can have many, many cameras inside the app. So this pretty much covers the entire gamut of things in this available in this camera.